Elk Ridge Resort. Elk Ridge Resort. Off of what lakes? This is Waskasu. Okay. So there's some cabins. Wow, those are just there. cabins? They look like houses. And then this is... The golf? The golf, I believe. We are officially in Saskatchewan's only national park, Prince Albert National Park. So we're going to check that out and see what goes on here today. So I just taught Troy the two most important things to take with you everywhere and anywhere on a trip. Duct tape. Red Green is my idol for those of you that are old enough to remember that show. And mounting tape. Double-sided mounting tape. So you would be amazed how much of this ambulance is made with that. <laughs> but it is super handy. So that is definitely a tip to keep with you on the road. This is an amazing play structure. Bears on the beach. Oh, there's someone I know. <laughs> and everything has this country theme. My nephew would love this place. Even the garbage cans are cute. I'll thicken it up when I get the basics. But it's acrylic paint, so I can wash it off. Make that one bigger. to the Ford spot in the middle where it used to be. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll just thicken it up. And then I might go, it's about the journey here, but it'd be awfully small, but who cares? Yeah. It's all good fun. It's an old ambulance. You should have done it backwards so people could see it in the rearview mirror. Yeah, I'd rather people walk by and see it. <laughs> Some of them might not really know and, see, and think I am an ambulance. <laughs> Well, you'd get the road in a hurry. Yeah, but I don't know if that's really fair. Life ain't fair. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't look very fabulous right now, but I'll do another coat after. Or add other colors. I'm just scoping. Here's my little buddy's painting. Isn't that cute? And we did that in blue. And then I've got my Van Vita. It's about the journey. And I just painted that little side piece green. Because as soon as it rains, all of this will be gone. So this is the little beach part. Boat launch is just down there. And this is at the Narrows. This is the narrowest part of this lake. And it is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I wish you could get a, a better feel from this. Like, it is so raw and so natural and so gorgeous. And we have our own little private beach. <laughs> but this is awesome. Super deep. Super, so super good. deep out here. I'm gonna read my magazine. Let's see it when I get back. Well, the last four days have been quite the experience. Definitely refreshing and rejuvenating in a way that only nature can bring. It is beautiful here. And I just appreciate everything about it. We've seen so many different animals and birds um, floated in the water, went along the shore picking up 
clown shells and snail shells just to look at them painting on Vita because why not? We can just do it. Nothing's been in a rush. Meals have been cooked outside. Um, I just feel truly blessed to be able to be doing this right now. Another thing throughout this journey has been the absolute generosity and kindness of other people. People that have stopped to talk and ask about the vehicle, conversations over life changes. Um, I'm not the only person going through something that is a turning point in my life. And it's wonderful to get to share some of the joys of it too. Um, back to the generosity, I mean, I've been given gifts throughout these few short days already. I have that purse sash. You guys probably have seen that blue one on me. Given to a friend to try out and see if I like it. I love it. I have a beautiful little keychain that was given to me as well. That's a beaded hummingbird. How cute is that? I also have two brand new handcrafted wooden bowls that have the most beautiful natural pattern in them given to me as well. I got to spend time with an old friend that I've known since kindergarten. You know, he did some stuff to help me a bit with Vita, like setting up my inverter, which has taken a ton of stress off of me. Um, one of the funnest things I think today was floating in my little floaty across the Narrows. I'm in Prince Albert National Park and I floated myself all the way across the Narrows just because I could. And that's something that I wouldn't have done before. Before I would have been like, oh my God, what if a boat comes? Or what if this? Or what if that? It didn't bother me today. And in the last videos with a few bumps in the road, like backing into a tree or <laughs> hitting the side mirror, you know what? There's so many worse things that could have happened. And when you put it in perspective, it's cosmetic. It hasn't caused any problems in my life. It's just one of those things that happens. Now, if that had happened before, when I didn't feel as well, it would have been a big deal. But I am just letting myself roll with whatever comes my way. I'm letting myself be open to the universe, to God, to whatever you want to refer to it as. And pieces are coming together. Even the fact that my friend had the same time off that I did, you know, in a random conversation on the way up we got to go hang out and, and do a lot of fun things. So I haven't been all alone and I haven't been lonely. Um, yeah. So I just want to let you guys know that tomorrow I will be taking them home to Prince Albert and I'm heading up to the Nest Creek, um, festival. That's going to be a new experience. It could be kind of crazy. I'm super excited for it. I'll get to show you guys what that's like. A um, little bit interested now that pot's legal, how much more that might be going on out there, but to each their own. So if you want to continue to follow with this journey, please, by all means, like and subscribe to my channel. Put some comments below. Let me know the things that you want to see or information that you want from this journey. Thanks so much for following. Okay, so today we left the park. But unfortunately, there is tornado, uh, a tornado watch here and up for where um, the Nez Creek Festival is and predicted 10 millimeters of rain today, 10 millimeters of rain tomorrow. And with the unit this big and heavy and the tornado warning, I don't think I could have got a bigger sign that maybe this isn't for me this year. That doesn't mean that I can't go another time, but I think I'm going to have to change my plans a bit. So. I'll let you know when I know.